Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. I wanted to show you something today. I, I'd actually seen somebody else do this, uh, and I played around with it a little bit, and I didn't like uh, what I was seeing, and I'll show you why with some of the problems. But um, in any case, I, I had this set. This is this uh, Hell set. Let me bring this over and show you what it is. It is this uh, terrain, this, I think it's an Inferno terrain stuff. And on the surface of it, it, it doesn't seem like it's all that detailed. It exports very quickly, uh, but 3D Exchange will not import it. Even when I use my usual trick, and I think I've shown you in some other videos of cutting it down, you cut it down into pieces. And even if I just cut it all the way down to just the terrain, it doesn't work. And I, I have a feeling that's because the uh, textures of the terrain are too big. Uh, in the past, I've I've done some things like bringing it into um, Blender and, and reducing textures there and stuff. But I'd seen this trick before, and I like, like I said, I tried this and before, and I didn't like how it worked. But uh, I'm going to show you the the pros and the cons of this. So what I did was um, here's the train itself, and here's a Genesis figure. I just I just went here and added a Genesis figure into this train somewhere. I just dropped it in. And then I exported the whole thing as an FBX. And then, inside of Transformer, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, inside of, uh, I'm still tired from tennis, inside of Character Creator 3, I went to Transformer and opened up that FBX file. Now, what happens is, the because there's a character in there, there's a Genesis figure, uh, it sees all the rest of the stuff that's with that Genesis figure, basically as... Um, uh, basically as accessories so uh so you can bring it in that way and here they are they're all accessories now it says hey you know this mesh isn't bound properly but you don't really care about that um so you bring it in and because this is a 64-bit program character creator 3 as opposed to 3d exchange which is like the model t of real illusion products I, I honestly don't know why anybody would spend any money on 3d exchange given that it is a 32-bit program it's a ripoff but uh in any case uh because this is a 64-bit program uh it can load in that uh that pro the uh, the whole thing and uh, you can see it uh, the video memory is i don't know 1.6 uh, honest to God, even trying to load in any part of this in uh, Exchange uh, didn't work, even cutting it down. So this works, uh, and then what you end up with is you have essentially a, a scene with, uh, with an avatar with all these other things here. Okay, an avatar and other things. And then you could go over to, um, and this is the project I've actually been working on for quite a while with this, but we could go in, since I've saved this, we're going for a new project. We could go in to a blank scene here and then go ahead and go file and then export the um, avatar, I'm sorry, uh, character at iClone. So basically this is going to send this whole thing, including the um, all these accessories, over to iClone. So it comes in. So that, that part of it works. And you might say, well, Mike, that, that's great. What's the problem? Well, there's a few problems. First of all, um, when it comes in like this, you'll see all of these things are attached to this avatar. So the first thing you want to do is unattach them. So you can select them all. Luckily, you can do this all at once. Select them all and go to Modify and then go to Detach. So right now they're attached to the hip. I think they're all attached to the hip. So when you do that now, now we have the avatar separate, and then you can delete the avatar, and you're left with, with the scene, which on the surface sounds great. Sounds like, hey, I don't need 3D Exchange anymore. And, and that's mostly true. Uh, the several issues, though, are, number one, you have all of these objects. It doesn't, um, it doesn't put these as part of uh, one set, so instead everything breaks out. And sometimes that's okay. Uh, in this particular case, it's not horrible uh, because uh, there's not a whole lot. But I tried this one time with a set where there was just a crap load of accessories. <laughs> I mean, there were hundreds of things that normally in the DAS program were not a problem because they were combined in the set itself. But when it came over to... Uh, to iClone, it was just a mess and really difficult to deal with. So, so there's that. 
But the bigger issue is this, is that the textures don't always come in on, uh, correctly. So, for example, if I go here, whoops, first of all, if I, if I pick something and go into the textures, you'll see that it did bring in the base color and it brought in bump maps. It doesn't bring in the metallic or the roughness, even if there are metallic and roughness maps. I don't know why that's the case. It really should. Uh, it does that on clothing. I don't know if it's maybe this particular set just doesn't work. Um, but it's a real problem because you, I can't even use my routine to fix this because my routine assumes that all of it's all in one set and not on these separate little pieces. So, so that's one problem. But the bigger issue is this. All of the bump maps for this stuff come in wrong. Uh, see this bump map? It comes in at, at 2. Uh, well, that's, that's just wrong. <laughs> it's just a, it's just not going to be good. I mean, if you can if you can take a look at some of this stuff, let's take a look at like say this texture of this pillar here. Uh, this is this normal comes in at, at one, so there's nothing there. If you as soon as we turn it up, well, actually maybe you can't really see that very much on the pillar. Let's go to let's go back to here. We'll go back to the wall setting, this cliff setting. Uh, with the bump map at two, you, you don't really see much. If we bring it up, you'll start to see. See how that see how that texture comes in there. So this has to be a lot further up. And unfortunately, because it's split everything out, because it's split it out at all these things, and it doesn't link them together as it would when you normally were bringing stuff in through 3D Exchange, you'll have to go ahead and each one of these things you have to go in. And you'll have to modify each one of the textures, which, you know, sometimes some of them have a lot of textures. Uh, like on this uh, bones, for example, you know, you modify that. It's four different things. So each of these bump maps for all of this have to be bumped upwards. Uh, so your arms are going to tie. Now, I could write a Python routine to go ahead and bump the strength up of all these bump maps. And I might go ahead and do that anyway. Uh, I have to see myself. I'm going to play around with this more and see how much I'm actually going to do this, um, and and maybe get some feedback if you guys really think that you know you might use this. And uh, maybe I'll write a Python routine to go ahead and, and redo all the bump maps so that they're bumped up to a reasonable percentage. But in, but in the meantime, uh, there you go. There's a there's a way of bringing in almost any DAS set, and the guy that. You know, did it before. Said he's done it with uh, you know uh, millions or at least a million polygons. Um, this doesn't have that many. Like I said, it's not. Well, actually, it, it does. It has a million polygons. It's not really so much the polygons here, though. It's that it's those textures is a problem. But if you have to spend you know an hour, which I think it took me about an hour <laughs> redoing all the textures for this, um, that could that could be a lot of time. So. Uh, so anyway, so there gives you an idea. So if those of you that's, that have transform, I'm sorry, that have Character Creator 3 with uh, Transformer in the advanced pipeline version, uh, you don't need Exchange. You can, you can do this with almost anything as long as you add a, a Genesis figure into your dad scene and then export it as FBX. Hopefully that will help you guys, and we'll see you around the forums.